Vicky? Oh. Am I having a stroke? Mm. Am I high? Mm. My name is Joy Kendi. I'm a fashion and lifestyle content creator in Nairobi, Kenya. Fashion role model. I can definitely tell you somebody whose fashion I'm always just like in awe. Vicky? Oh, Victoria. Yeah, am I high? Yeah. So when it comes to fashion, how it affects my life, I am a firm believer of how you decide to show yourself to the world is a perfect representation of who you actually are. How you see me when it comes to how I dress each and every day, and of course I change my style every single day, it, it's a perfect representation of who I am that day, whether it's who I am that week or who, how I'm feeling that day, but it's a representation of how I'm feeling on the inside. When it comes to designer fashion, I have never really had an issue with either one, whether, I mean, I've always understood the issue with fast fashion. Fast fashion, global warming, wastage, it's an issue, um, sweatshops, I get it. Um, when it comes to luxury brands, I don't have an issue with it. If I can't afford it, I can't afford it. So I can't be mad at somebody making a bag worth $100,000 for an Hermes. I'm not gonna buy, so it's okay. My biggest thing about it is when a very large brand decides to steal a design or a concept from an up and coming brand and decides to call it theirs and basically patent that design where nobody has access to it. I think given the opportunity and depending on the brand and what it is that we're doing, I would definitely consider being a runway model. Why not? Life is short. Favorite style, right now I'm obsessed with baggy jeans. Obsessed with low rise baggy jeans. Um, I've gotten rid of all my skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, I, I hate them, which is why I never used to wear jeans ever since I got baggy jeans. I wear baggy jeans at least once a week before I used to wear jeans once a year. The one thing that I always have on, it's really hard for me because I change my style quite a, quite a bit. So like one day I'll be super tomboy, another day I'll be super girly, another day I'll be like boss lady. So the one thing, I don't know, lip gloss? Like I love a good lip gloss. I'm into lip glosses now, yeah. I have one hour to get ready for an event and I am not home. Which store am I gonna run to immediately and get a piece? Guy, that is so hard. Like head to toe? If, if I'm in a pinch, I will either go to Angel Smiles and see what pieces that she has that are ready to wear that might fit me. If not her, I will definitely go to Yvonne Street Style. I'm not 100% sure if um, starting my own fashion line is something that I want to do anytime soon, but I'm very much open to the concept of collaborating with other brands and creating a collection that is more my style with that brand. Two things that I would never wear together would definitely be like overly ripped jeans with stockings underneath. It makes me angry. Like commit to the ripped. What is the stocking? I would never wear white. Just that's a, that's a rule unless the bride has put that the dress code is all white. And something else that I would never do is wear anything that's overly plunging in the front or something too short. Just respect it, keep a decent length, don't show too much skin. To meet royalty or the president of this country, I would definitely go for the aesthetic of Grace Kelly, Dorothy Dandridge, which would be a very um, corseted A-line dress that is T-length with a pair of very cute pumps and a fascinator. If I had $5,000 to spend on one item, what would it be? I would probably buy a classic Chanel bag, but I would do my research on what kind of bag. And the only reason I would do that is not to wear the bag, is there are certain brands and if you buy the right bag of that brand, whether it's Hermes, Hermes, it's really hard to get anything less than $10,000. And then I would turn it into investment and resell it for $10,000 in three years. <laughs> My worst fashion trend has to be the Bottega heels, the ones that have a square tip and it's like um, fishnet. Oh, those shoes piss me off. But I don't judge people who wear them. They look good on you, but something about that shoe, ooh, it makes me angry. <laughs> I, I feel like people take fashion a little bit too seriously in the sense, people who hate fashion critics, I'm just like, it's just clothes, but also fashion critics who kind of go to the direction of being extraordinarily mean. I'm just like, it's just a dress. She'll take it off in 12 hours. 
Um, I, I understand why they're there. Also, critique fashion here and there once in a while. I just don't feel it's necessary to go to a level where it's beyond, like where you're bullying. But other than that, I, I could care less. It's just clothes. You take them off. You're not talking about somebody's face. My best era of fashion has to be the 1930s, 1950s, 60s, like end 50s, early 60s, mid 70s some sections of the 90s, but not all, and now. The 2000s were the worst. You youngins don't know because you are guy it was. And you guys are going back to it. Oh, oh, it was bad. I would date somebody who doesn't dress well. It's fine. It's just clothes. We can train them. We can train them. But even if you can't, it's fine. It's just clothes. If you had bad had hygiene or like had bad breath, that's, yeah. Dressing up for the cold season is a lot easier when it comes to fashion because it's layers. You can layer around and play with it. Um, when it's summer, it becomes a little bit more complicated because there's only so much that you can wear and you can only pair so much because it's hot. So I'd say winter, winter is easiest to dress. How do I feel about the BBL body dresses? I feel like they're for BBL bodies. They're, they're built for BBL bodies. That's all I gotta say. I don't believe that you can tell the personality of somebody by how they dress. I think, it gives you an idea of who they are, but you kind of get need to know them to understand who they really are. Yeah. The difference between fashionable and stylish, I don't know. There's a difference between fashionable and trendy. Trendy is just somebody who just goes with the trend just to go with the trend, even if it's not meant for their specific body type, because there's some trends that are just not meant for everybody. Um, somebody who's fashionable is somebody who just understands, number one, their body type, how to dress it, um, what their actual personal style is and how to work with it. My guilty pleasure has to be currently buying wigs. Oh, I love a good new wig. Oh, it makes me so happy. I'm about to order two. <laughs> I love a good wig. 